Today on iPod 70, gingerbread for the virtual line. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. I'm your host Sterling Miller. If it's your first time here, we are a Nespresso centric channel. We review the original line and the virtual line of Nespresso. If that is what you're looking for, you have found the right channel. For my returning Podhead family, any and all announcements will be at the end. But without further ado, let's get to today's star attraction, which is the gingerbread. A new taste, evidently they did it a, a long time ago. I don't remember when they ever put it out. It hasn't been for eons, but they said it's a return. So it must have happened a long time ago, but let's take a look at what they have to say. All right, gingerbread, let's see. The aromatic profile. A wide range of spices, notes defined by cereal and ginger on a smooth base blend of Latin America and African Arabicas. And if we notice down, notice down here under roasting, uh, the Arabica coffees in Barista Creations Gingerbread. So because this is a Barista Creation, we know it's gonna go better or good with milk. We will definitely try that. <laughs> gingerbread, a warm hug. Sounds like Olaf. Uh, roastiness two, acidity one, bitterness one, body two. It is a 7.77 ounce mug. So it's our standard fare. All right, so let's take a look at the pods. Oh, those are cool looking. These are really cool looking. There's your pod. It's kind of a uh, dark red, almost a burgundy. And then there's almost like a kaleidoscope pattern going around the outside. Really neat looking. Labeled on the bottom. You know we love that. Spicy notes, cereal, and ginger. Gingerbread for the virtual line. Let's go brew a cup. So for round one, we're just going to brew the coffee and get a taste of that. So let's get that going. Coffee is done. Not a whole lot of smell while it was brewing. Not a whole lot of smell even after it's done brewing. It almost smells like, like buttery bread. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's go give it a taste. All right, round one. I, first initial taste, I'm not tasting anything from it. That's kind of weird. Yeah, there's not much flavor to it. Let me try this one more time. Boy, it is really, really, really light. If you're looking for a pungent, I, I was expecting, when they said gingerbread, I guess what I was expecting is that that heavier gingerbread taste. To me, this one has kind of what I smelled. It has like a little bit of a buttery biscuit and a slight spice and really light ginger flavor as it goes by. But it's very, very, everything is very, very subtle. The most dominant is the buttery biscuit smell with, with that taste. Yeah, just not much acid or bitterness to speak of. I would say it would be bitterness because it's not lingering that long. So it would be probably what they're saying there, like a one, just real quick, real light bitterness. But I was expecting something different. So I, this kind of throws me off just a little bit on the direction I want to go. But, uh, I think we need to go round two because these are truly made for milk. And so I think it warrants going round two and yeah, putting it with some milk. So let's go round two. Let's go brew another cup. 
So given the light flavor and that, I'm really gonna try to just bring out some body out of that coffee and some flavor. So I got three ounces of half and half or 89 milliliters. And then I added one ounce more of heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna try to bring out some of that ginger and spice flavor. So we're gonna add, whoop, we're gonna add two good pumps of sweetener. And then we're gonna put it into our carafe and we're gonna set it on medium froth. Our milk is done. We're gonna put that into the mug. I have to watch out because my dog's laying right here on the, on the floor. So we got a decent amount of froth, not like, not like milk though. So let's go brew the pod into this. <laughs> not quite as beautiful as last week, but still pretty. Let's go give it a taste. All right, round two. That's not bad. It brings out the uh, buttery biscuit side again really, really heavily. It surprises me because I added two pumps of sweetener and yet it still feels like it could use just a little bit more. Man, that ginger, it, it just, I don't know. Yeah, this one's kind of a, uh, it just doesn't, I, I guess I was expecting a, a gingerbread flavor, like gingerbread with that spice and that bite and that, and it's kind of more like, eh, and, mm, and kinda. It, it just, I don't know, it really, let's take a look at what they're doing. All right, so, Gingerbread, limited edition, cereal and spicy, aromatic notes, gingerbread. 14 bucks a sleeve or $1.40 a pod. So where does that leave this guy? Um, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. There's just nothing inherently right with it. This one has just very little aromatics to it. This one, it's better with, with, with the milk concoction. Um, it's not a bad pod, but at a buck 40, that's kind of a little bit of a premium on the price there. And for what you're getting, I really don't think that that premium is worth it, except maybe just somebody that just wants that light, light, light ginger, likes the, the buttery biscuit flavor. Um, overall, I, I would give it a two out of five pods. It really just fell so flat for me. It's kind of disappointing because it was a hugely requested one for me to review. And I thought, ooh, people really like this one, um, you know, or, I thought maybe people really liked this one because they were wanting to know what I thought. And yeah, kind of a big letdown. That brings us to a close of this week's video. I thank you so much for your time. If you've made it this far into the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Friday. Uh, speaking of Friday, uh, next week's video, we'll have the Patreon drawing for the month of December. So we'll be doing that next week. And we will also announce the contest for the month of December, which I think you guys will like. I hope. Hope you like it better than the Halloween one. <laughs> How do we do what we do each day, month in and month out? It's from these wonderful people you see scrolling here, my patrons over at Patreon. They really make a huge difference in how this channel's been able to grow. And without them, I don't know if the channel would still be going. They really do make a huge difference. 
If you would like to be one of those wonderful people, join us over at patreon.com forward slash IPON70 and you too can support the channel. Also, receive the videos a few days early, commercial free, and a discount on all the Podhead merchandise. Until next week, with another coffee tasting video, have a great rest of your day.